So welcome ladies and gentlemen to some more PES 2017 gameplay. Barcelona against Atletico Madrid. Two matches here that I sort of really cut down to show you guys um, some goals, chances, saves and fouls. Uh, I think those are the key points to have a look at. And we're going to be discussing a couple of points as well. Uh, here, there, and everywhere. But what about this for a start from Neymar? An absolute beauty of a volley. And if you look at the top right-hand side there, that is the new celebration. Strip off, used with R3. And as you can see, there is a yellow card next to it. So you will get that yellow card, guys, if you do whip off Neymar's shirt. So I don't recommend doing it early on. Uh, save it towards the end of the game with only a couple of minutes to spare. And then, yeah, you can do that celebration. So yeah, lovely ball over the top, great volley. Uh, Barcelona pretty dominant in this video. Uh, this footage was taken and, and given to me by Badinska, uh, a, Pez Universe, a Pez Universe member. So check out his channel in the description for some more footage. Uh, yeah, all credit to him. But here's a nice challenge, yeah, another foul. I love, I love seeing the fouls, that's why I've put them in there. I like seeing the collisions, the animations, the way players go down. Um, I think the Fox engine has come a long way considering where it was in the start of PES 2014. Uh, it has come definitely a long way. Here's a bit of a slow-mo for you guys to check out with the old save from the keeper. You know, a decent stop, tips it away. But what I like now about goalies, when you see most of the saves they make and they do tip away from the goal, it's a good amount of distance. They're not tipping it into the six-yard box, not to the penalty spot. They're tipping it away to the sides, you know, as goalies would do uh, in the real world. So we're going to discuss a couple of points, and you know, I read the comments as well of all my videos, so I, I know what people say, I, I, I do read them, I don't always comment back, but I will get to a couple of points as there's another fine finish from Luis Suarez, banging one in from distance, so it does go to show you that the goalies can be beaten from long range. And uh, one point that people did mention was the nets themselves. You know, I'm not going to go into this whole discussion about the goal nets. I've had enough of it, to be honest. Every year, people are never happy with them. I mean, it doesn't matter what nets they put in there. There's always complaints. At the end of the day, guys, you know, they're nets. And as long as they move and they're not like concrete, I think they do enough uh, for my liking. I mean, there's so many different variations now around the globe you know different stadiums have different fitting nets some are tight some are loose some are triangular even most obviously are rectangles so i'm not going to get into that whole debate i think as long as they do the job and they're fine that's good enough for me and i like this uh, you know close up there of players coming off the field at half time you know another addition they're making a big change when it comes to the broadcasty feel i think that's a good addition that konami are adding this year they are going that more broadcast type of uh, feel to the game which is what they need I mean you do need that because it adds a different element to the game itself and here's another decent save I mean this probably would have gone in last year to be honest using that curl but it's a comfortable stop and it just goes to show you that if you do abuse it curling the ball all the time it isn't going to go in 95% uh, this time and there's another decent save a comfortable one as he tips it over the bar but you know a couple of comments as well let me just sort of get to my point uh, people were saying it looks similar to PES 2016 and all that. Well, of course it's going to look similar to PES 2016. They're not making a whole new engine. They are tweaking the engine itself. You, they, they tried this back in the PS3 days um, when it came out with PES 2008, 2009, 2010, where they kept changing the game every year, and it just doesn't work. They finally found a formula now that does work an engine that does work it looks good it plays well so they need to stick to the roots and just build upon it you know that's what fifa did back in fifa 08 fifa 09 they gradually built the game up to what it is and now they're coming out with a new engine because they have to the the engine they were running wasn't good enough it was boring static it needs a little bit of life so they're changing it up now with the frostbite engine and when we get some footage of that you know we will show it we will critique it and we'll see if it is you know, that much different uh, than it has been. What about that for an absolute belter from Rakitic? He also looks fantastic this time around. But yeah, right in the top corner. And once again, it goes to show you that goalies will get beaten from long range if you hit it sweet as an out. And I love this little cutscene there where it zooms in and pans into the crowd. Someone said that the crowd don't look great. I think the crowd look good. I mean, they're, they're more 3D now than ever. Uh, they actually look like humans as opposed to just sort of cardboard cutouts. 
But yeah, this is an absolute belter of a finish. Right off the post. I mean, there's nothing uh, Old Black can do with that one. You can just pick it out of the old onion bag and say, lovely jubbly, my son. Here's a little replay. Once again, that broadcast type feel this time around. Just looking ever so more lifelike uh, throughout the course of this video. You'll see a lot of snippets here, there. Uh, but the overall consensus of the game is it is a lot better than last year, guys. I mean, it is. Look at the goalie there. Coming out, closing the angle down. Now, whether he used triangle to bring him out or not, I don't know. Hopefully, he didn't, and it was just the AI doing it himself. Um, but, yeah, just much quicker off the line, the goalies. They're a massive improvement, so do not be worried about whether the goalies are good or not this year. They are. People have played it numerous times, and they've said now the goalies are phenomenal. Well, now, we have to wait and see how it is against the AI. I mean, that's a different scenario. It's a different kettle of fish, and that's something that I really want to look at, is playing against Superstar. Are they ultimately going to be a challenge? You know, is it not going to be so scripted? I have spoke about this adaptive AI and I think that's going to be the big plus point. Now, if they are really that adaptive, that good, uh, it's going to be brilliant. I mean, here's Suarez, lovely little finish. But Lionel Messi there, staying on his feet. You know, he was about to go down. He didn't. He stumbled. He got back to the ball, whipped it in. Suarez was there to tap it in. Those little things, those little touches uh, are nice to see. I mean, that stumble animation was in there last year already. Uh, but it was just quicker. It was a quicker animation. It was more natural. Um, and it didn't look so robotic, you know, a little fake, a little turn, gets caught, stays on his feet, whips it in, bang, beautiful. There we go. So yeah, it's going to be a question of waiting to see how the AI plays. So trust me guys, when I do get some footage of that, and I'd love to have some, you know, superstar difficulty uh, to show you guys. Unfortunately, I don't. Um... I'll be the first to show you guys. No worries about that. Now, you also have to remember, this isn't the final build. I mean, we've got Gamescom coming as well shortly. Uh, that's probably going to be a newer build than what the lads got to play at Pez Day um, this week. So, once that comes around, you know, Konami is still polishing off the game. They're still tweaking it a little bit more. We have about, what, five or six weeks till the game is released. It does come out in the US a couple of days before uh, it comes out elsewhere. So... Nice to have that early, and I'll be playing that, no doubt about it, on the old Master League front. There's a good save from the keeper there. You know, look about, you know, look at this. One-handed tip away. Don't say that the goalies don't have more animations there, because that is proof in the pudding that there clearly is uh, some new footage and, and new uh, animations in there for the goalie. A good save as well. You know, Lionel Messi not happy that he wasn't able to put it in the old onion bag, but it is what it is, and... Uh, you know, it's all coming together. It's all gelling and shaping up nicely. Once I actually get to play it myself, uh, then I can give you guys my actual real 100% thoughts. Right now, this is all coming from the Pez Universe, lads. Um, I have asked them a ton of questions. Um, I really have tried to get as much information as possible to give you guys. But at the end of the day, it's looking good. So be sure to share this video around. You know, like it. Be sure to also check out the Pez Universe, lads, like Lely. Uh, Seppo, the Midnight Kid, Badinsky's in there, we've got uh, Bibby, Spike, Nemesis, there's a whole bunch of us that have uh, got a whole bunch of footage for you guys to look at, but when I do have more, I will be very happy to share it, I just want to get that AI footage in there for you guys and really test the waters and see how good they are, we want to see a lot of fouls, not too many, but we want to see a decent amount we want a challenge, and I think that is the important thing, this is all one versus one, but overall, um, it's been a, an absolute pleasure to watch the gameplay uh, and also hear the thoughts from the lads. Have a look at this challenge, though, from Mascherano. This should have been a sending off. I slowed it down because this is Kung Fu 101. Look at that. Studs up right into the ankles. Yeah, that should have been uh, definitely a red card. We'll be back with more shortly. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button. And until next time, take care.